My name is Angel Vasquez, and this is A Friar Life. While there are many common aspects of living the life of a Franciscan friar, there is hardly a blueprint to follow. Called to live the gospel of Jesus Christ in the way of St. Francis, no two lives are the same. This is A Friar Life. I've always been a morning person. Uh, even before I joined the friary, I was I was a, I worked for a high school, so I would always be up by 5 a.m. get ready for school. So for me, this time is is a calm time. So I pray during my mornings, I say my rosary, get myself together for the day, and it just kind of stuck with me. And I like it. There is no cookie cutter Franciscan, um, so we each pray in our own form, in our own manner. I myself, I enjoy saying the rosaries at this very ungodly hour in the morning and just kind of, again, centering myself. Right now in this house, in our formation house, our prayer life goes around the schedule of the Liturgy of the Hours, along with our own personal prayer that you kind of saw me do this morning in my room. So this is what we do as a community together so that we're always praying together. The nice thing about it is it, it's structured. You know exactly what you're supposed to say so you don't have to worry about coming up with something new. You don't have to reinvent the wheel when it comes to praying. And also the idea that we're all praying the same prayer at the same time, even though we may be praying a little bit differently in our minds, in our cadence, and for different reasons in our own minds and hearts. I'm just trying to go through my regular day, and all of a sudden they mic me up, and now I've got to watch my words. Good morning, brothers. Good morning, good morning. I'm, I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeVille. The pressure is too tense. <laughs> you bought oatmeal at a clothing store? <laughs> yeah. Since, <laughs> since when did they do that? You go, you go there for a shirt and get yourself some oatmeal? Candy. Mm -hmm. If you go there, write about it and then go there. That's true. We could, we could say that we had a great time at the Cubs game before we went to the Cubs game. <laughs> it's, it's a preemptive uh, paper, uh, post. And we are currently celebrating eight days of one day. <laughs> we transcend time. Well, we have no sense of time as Catholics. Time has no meaning for us. We relive the same moments. Especially, especially being Franciscan. I mean, come on, our defense, the Immaculate Conception, went beyond time. <laughs> Well, Jesus sacrifice. Yeah. I mean, you can get a degree in physics, or you could become, you could become a Franciscan. And that's why we give you the secrets of time and space. <laughs> Since I have the luxury of being in a formation house where I have free time in the morning, and such great scenery around me, I come out here to the lake and just another way to center myself, but this time with me in the, in the environment that I'm in, hearing the crashes, the crashes of the waves along the shoreline, hearing the cyclists kind of zip past me, it kind of grounds me to, to this city and, and to the people, and I just love it. I wonder who he is, like, stop it, paparazzi. You know, every morning when I'm out here walking along the shoreline, I'm not by myself, there's other people. And every once in a while, I always think to myself, you know, what? What are you doing out here at this hour? Don't you have a job? And then I think and I reflect, you know, shouldn't I be having the same question asked to myself? And the reality is, this is part of my Franciscanism. You know, I come out here to be centered. That way when I do go out there to do ministry, when I go out there to go back to my classes, I'm able to be the best me that I can be uh, to, to serve. So just like the other runners and cyclists are trying to be the best selves that they are, so am I. Part of my day is uh, doing homework for classes since I am a student at this moment. Um, and right now I, I began as a, a master's in pastoral studies program at, at CTU. But the more I went into the program and the more I, I went through my ministry life, I, I felt that I needed to experience more ministry life to get a sense of really what I needed to study. So I ended up uh, shifting down from a master's program to a certificate program in pastoral studies to allow me to finish this coming May uh, with a certificate, allowing me for next year uh, to take barbering uh, lessons at one of the local barbering schools. As a friar, I want to do direct service with the poor. 
And for me, the gospel passage of, of being told to wash the feet of people and be a servant to others in today's society, for me, is cutting someone's hair, washing their hair, grooming them, giving them a sense of humanity and dignity that they deserve because they are beautiful creatures of God. We're at Port Ministry, uh, which is where I do my ministry for the day to direct service to the poor. Uh, right now, we are loading up the food truck, which is uh, what we do. We stop at Four Corners to deliver sandwiches, chips, uh, cookies, fruit, pretty much anything that gets donated to the port, we bring to the people. Uh, you hear the roosters crowing? one of my favorite parts of this neighborhood. Also weirded me out the first time. I was like, wait, what is that? Why is there a rooster crowing? The first time I wore my habits uh, here at, at the port, uh, our first stop is to predominantly Latino community, uh, children and single moms. And I just remember a little girl pausing, looking at me and asked why I was wearing a dress. And we just had this like really quick little back and forth. And at the end, she still didn't believe that it was not a dress. She thought it was a dress. Um, she now does not believe it's a dress. She now recognizes me in, in my habit, which is pretty funny. Hola. Here you go, mama. And then get cookies from him. Hey! She's about to get afraid of that little girl. No, she's about to get afraid of that little girl. No agua hoy. Hey, you know what I was gonna, I forgot to text you earlier and tell you that today was a good day for uh, hot chocolate. Yeah, cuanta necesita? I need, let me see, give me eight. Eight? Yeah. I'll put the cookies in this bag over here. Oh, I wish I had them. Hey, I don't even got them for myself. I'm in the house, but can, can I get one? I want my little sister. She's in the car. Like that. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. What is this? Hem Madonna Hem 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 that's that, that's that first rush. <laughs> you know it. And now, now time to relax and slow down a little bit. I'm hoping that he looks more like his dad. Oh, it's gonna be a boy? Yeah, you know what it is, a ketabago. No, I know. Bago means lazy. so much in the news about Chicago shooting and violence and then when you have an opportunity to come out here and actually talk to the people you realize you know who they are and the struggles that they're facing and it's it humanizes it because really media doesn't do a, a good job of doing that they just point out the violence and they're people you know and and it, that's why I love it you get to talk to them and you interact with them you get to see them you know so it's good Right now we're at White Castle because after a night of ministry, I like to treat myself sometimes. And White Castle just started carrying black bean burgers, and I'm vegetarian, so I'm about to get myself a crave case of black bean burgers and pray to God Almighty it, it all holds down. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> the, the, the. Friar Life! Hi, my name is Brother Angel, and this is Friar Life. <laughs> and it's, this is a Friar Life. This is a Friar Life, gotcha. Hi, I'm Brother Angel, and this is a Friar Life. My name, my name. is Angel Vasquez. Okay. And this is a Friar Life. Okay, here we go. Hi, my name is Angel Vet. No, 
Uh, don't say hi. No. Say my name is. Okay. My name is Angel Vasquez, and this is a Friar's Life. This is a Friar Life. This is a Friar Life. I'm Angel Vasquez. <laughs> Line. <laughs> Line. My name is Angel Vasquez. My name. My name. This is a Friar Life. My name. My name is Angel Vasquez, and this is a Friar Life. <laughs> okay, that was good. One more time, and then go back to type. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay.